Hello guys, today we are going to be playing Pokemon Breeze Adventure, and we are going to be going by sections, so from gym to gym, and sometimes we might go off topic, like how to catch Kyogre and Groudon, for example. So, let's get right into it. Okay guys, after you fill out your trainer card, you are going to be going out to your house to meet with Jake. So Jake said that he saw the appearance, which is the game's design for the parents, at the digging site. So we're going to go to the digging site. After talking with your parents, you are going to be going to the Pokemon lab to pick out your Pokemon. Okay, you are going to be talking to Professor Cypress about you getting your first Pokemon. After you pick your Pokemon, Jake is going to be challenging you to a battle. Okay, Jake, you should be starting off with a shiny Eevee, and depending on what Pokemon you have, just make sure to win because you should get a level up. Okay, after you defeat Jake, it turns out that you will gain 7, or not 7, you should be at level 7 and have gained 2 levels. And your parents are going to come over, and they will give you one of their own very precious items. This guy. The bronze brick. It will be in the bag anytime you need it, which I don't think you will ever need it. That's just to remember your parents. And Jake will give you five Pokeballs that you need to catch Pokemon in the wild. And, one, and after this conversation, you will be able to go to Route 1. When you get out of the building, you will go to Route 1, which in this case, you can follow where I'm going, even though you won't see it. Just go straight and turn to your left. And this guy right here, he will hear your, he will hear your Pokemon, just like Nurse Joy, but except there's no Pokemon Center here, so you want to go here to heal. So now we're on Route 1, and feel free to catch any Pokemon you can. After you're done looking for Pokemon in this patch of grass, you will find a trainer. Ralph will challenge you to a battle, and sends out a Wumple. After you battle the trainer, you will go on this to this area. If you do not want to fight this trainer, you can go into the patch of grass behind him, and you will not get caught. Once you've gotten through that trainer, go up this stair, and you will have to face this trainer. Once you defeated the trainer, you can go through this patch of grass, and there will be a Pokeball 
that you just tap on and you will find a potion. Once you get the Pokeball, go to this area and Jake will come to you. He'll say something that he, ha he has no time to explain about but is really important. And supposedly, according to the story, their parents have been kidnapped. Apparently they have been kidnapped and they want to be used for certain purposes. Okay, they just say go back to Route 1 and go to Chesmere Town. Once you get here, you will be able to go through and you will be on the other side after you walk through. And once you're on the other side, you will be at Chesma Sound. And this girl wants to talk to you. She says you look like a brand new trainer, blah, 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 blah. And your parents were abducted by Team Eclipse. She'll talk to you and she will follow you. She will tell you where her house is. So the girl eventually takes the necklace that your parents gave you, and you now have to go look for her. And Jake will come and ask you who that person was. Once you get into Gale Forest, you will want to go through here and fight any Pokemon that come to you. You will then have to fight a trainer that you should be able to defeat and then go on. After you have defeated the trainer, you will go through this area and fight this trainer. After you defeated the trainer, go through this area, go through this area, and you do not need to fight this trainer, you can go behind them if you need, or if you want to, and the girl will be right here. And she will give you the necklace back as long as you defeat her in a Pokemon battle. Her pan cham is a bit tough, so be very careful. After you've defeated the girl, she will give you the necklace back. Now Jake will compliment you, and he will say stuff about your parents, and tell you about the gym and more information later in the future. After you get into Chesmia Town, 
I recommend you going to the Pokemon Center. Where you can heal and buy. So now you should go to the bridge and you'll be able to pass through. You are now going on to Route 2. You do not need to fight any trainers, but you can if you want to. Once you go through this area, you will be headed this way into Route 3. But you have to fight some trainers along the way. You can go through this area, which can give you a good amount of Pokemon that you would normally like to catch. So you go up this path if you want to, which is the only way to get to the city of Sylvent City. I recommend you going to the Pokemon Center so you can heal up before the gym battle. This gym is electric, and so make sure not to use water type Pokemon, but you can if you think they will be able to defeat them. Once you get into the gym, you will have to follow the patterns on the floor, but you have to make sure that all of the tiles sh should be green and they will be unlocked. Afterwards, you will be able to fight the gym leader. For this pattern, it is pretty simple. Go from one corner to the other side and up and so on and once all tires are green you will be able to go through and fight the next trainer okay for this pattern I recommend you going like this to that and like this kind of zigzag and you will be able to fight the gym leader after that
after you have defeated him, you get your first gym badge. You've attained the upgrade. You get the learn you get the move charge beam. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I wish you guys take note and have a good day. Thank you for watching.